As the world races toward an all-electric future by 2030, there's a rebel on the horizon. Porsche, the iconic German automaker, is not waving the white flag to electric vehicles. No, they're doubling down on a jaw-dropping $100 million investment in e-fuels, aiming to revolutionize traditional internal combustion engines. Hold on to your seats as we uncover how Porsche, in a brilliant move, plans to preserve our beloved internal combustion engine amidst a sea of electric cars. The European Commission threw a curveball by exempting synthetic fuels from the proposed 2035 ban on combustion engines. Porsche seems to have cracked the code, replacing liquid dinosaurs with eco-friendly synthetic fuels. But here's the burning question. How does it all work? Can we expect this tech sooner than we think? And most importantly, should we believe in this game-changing innovation? Buckle up as we unravel the Porsche saga, exploring the ingenious concoction of technology and tradition that might just redefine the future of motoring. In the ever-evolving landscape of the automotive industry, electric vehicles, EVs, have emerged as the frontrunners, heralding a potential revolution in transportation. However, Porsche, a legendary name in the realm of sports cars under the leadership of CEO Oliver Bloom, has boldly chosen not to yield its legacy to the electric wave just yet. This strategic move has sent shockwaves through the industry, as Oliver Bloom recently unveiled an engine that he claims will challenge the dominance of EVs. Oliver Bloom, known for his unconventional approach, unwavering commitment to innovation, and deep appreciation for Porsche's rich heritage, introduced the groundbreaking Porsche EICE at a press conference. This engine represents a meticulous blend of cutting-edge technology and traditional engineering prowess, aiming to redefine the boundaries of performance, efficiency, and sustainability. It challenges the prevailing consensus that EVs are the sole path forward in the automotive world. But before we deep dive into the Porsche EICEs, let's look at why we need e-fuels. E-fuel, or synthetic fuel, is a liquid fuel, similar to what we know today. The big difference is that it does not come from fossil energy sources. It is obtained from a chemical process based on hydrogen, and the energy used for its manufacture is renewable. Thus, it is a 100% clean fuel. Synthetic fuels present several compelling advantages, extending beyond Porsche's specific context to encompass a broader range of transportation applications, transcending the automotive sector. At a more localized level, Porsche argues that the production and cost of electric vehicles EVs, outweighs that of combustion-powered cars, and a complete transition of its entire vehicle lineup to electric power is a time-consuming endeavor. E-fuels emerge as an alternative avenue to expedite the brand's commitment to decarbonize its product range. Now, back to the EICE engines. The Porsche EICE engine, a direct injection inline six-cylinder power plant featuring advanced turbocharging and hybrid technology, aims to demonstrate that combustion engines still have a significant role to play. Bloom asserts that it can deliver efficiency and emissions control comparable to the best EVs on the market today questioning whether a combustion engine can truly stand up to the electric onslaught. A key innovation in the Porsche EICE engine is its use of synthetic fuels, positioning Porsche at the forefront of synthetic fuel development. These fuels, often referred to as e-fuels or synthetic gasoline, are produced using renewable energy sources and carbon capture technology. They can be seamlessly used in existing combustion engines without modifications, presenting a practical solution for emission reduction in the short term. Porsche's commitment to e-fuels challenges the notion that electric vehicles are the exclusive path to a sustainable future. While EVs have made significant strides in reducing greenhouse gas emissions, challenges persist in energy production, battery materials, and infrastructure. Bloom believes that synthetic fuels can bridge these gaps, offering a more immediate and realistic solution to environmental concerns associated with internal combustion engines. Optimized to run on synthetic fuels, the Porsche EICE engine achieves impressive levels of efficiency and emissions control, with fuel economy figures comparable to leading EVs. Its incorporation of a mild hybrid system, recovering energy during braking, and providing an extra power boost positions the EICE engine as a formidable contender against electric powertrains in terms of performance. Porsche's historical association with speed and agility is not compromised by the EICE engine, boasting a peak output of 500 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque. This level of performance can propel Porsche's sports cars from 0 to 60 mph in under 4 seconds, aligning with the capabilities of many electric sports cars currently in the market. 
The EICE engine also addresses environmental concerns through advanced exhaust gas after-treatment systems, including selective catalytic reduction and particulate filters, significantly reducing harmful emissions and aligning with stringent regulations. While electric vehicles are celebrated for their zero tailpipe emissions, Porsche's EICE engine running on synthetic fuels offers a more environmentally conscious alternative. So, how does the e-fuels work? Hydrocarbon, a primary component of gasoline derived from crude oil, traditionally relies on fossil fuels. However, Porsche's innovative approach in Chile's factory takes an environmentally conscious route by harnessing hydrogen from water and capturing carbon dioxide from the air to create hydrocarbon for their e-fuel. The process involves electrolysis, which separates hydrogen and oxygen in water through a constant electrical current, and a direct air capture device that utilizes heated filters with solvents to trap carbon dioxide from the air. In simpler terms, Porsche's e-fuel is generated by transforming water and air, harnessing hydrogen and capturing carbon dioxide in an eco-friendly manner. The air capture device acts like a set of turbines with filters, turning contaminated air into clean air while concentrating carbon dioxide. Remarkably, Porsche has ingeniously repurposed the detrimental emissions produced by internal combustion engines to craft an environmentally sustainable fuel. An additional device executes methanol synthesis combining hydrogen gas and captured carbon dioxide to produce methanol. Further synthesis involving heat and vaporization is applied to create a synthetic gasoline blend, encompassing both heavy and light gasoline components. Notably, Porsche's synthetic blend mirrors the molecular structure of conventional gasoline, ensuring compatibility while avoiding environmental pollution. At present, the plant is anticipated to generate approximately 130,000 liters, 34,342 gallons of fuel annually, with ambitious plans to escalate production to 55 million liters, 14.5 million gallons by 2025, and an even more substantial tenfold increase projected by 2027. The expectation is that as the technology advances, costs associated with production will decrease, offering a more optimistic outlook for the future. Even if this innovative fuel retains its exclusivity, primarily available to the affluent, it serves a crucial purpose in ensuring the longevity of some of the most exceptional internal combustion engine ICE vehicles. This becomes especially pertinent in a scenario where traditional gas stations become less accessible, underscoring the vital role this alternative fuel could play in sustaining high-performance ICE cars beyond the era of conventional refueling. Now, as Porsche unveils its EICE engine, the automotive industry watches closely. Traditional combustion engines have faced environmental criticism, leading many automakers to heavily invest in electric vehicle technology. Tesla, with its all-electric lineup, and legacy manufacturers like Ford and General Motors, with aggressive EV plans, have committed substantially to an all-electric future. Porsche's EICE engine, while not a direct challenge to Tesla's market share, presents a compelling alternative for those who cherish the visceral experience of a sports car with a roaring engine. General Motors' ambitious plans to electrify its entire lineup by 2035 align with the broader trend toward electric vehicles. However, Porsche's EICE engine could provide an alternative for consumers who remain attached to the performance and sound of traditional combustion engines. Porsche is not alone in exploring the potential of synthetic fuels, as companies like Audi and BMW also show interest in e-fuels to reduce the environmental impact of their combustion engines. Audi's commitment is evident in its partnership with energy company Initech to build a pilot facility for e-fuel production, highlighting the viability of e-fuels as an alternative to traditional fossil fuels. BMW, renowned for its performance-oriented vehicles, sees synthetic fuels as a complementary technology to electric propulsion, reflecting the industry's recognition that a one-size-fits-all approach to sustainability is impractical. Synthetic fuels are gaining traction in motorsport and classic car communities due to their low CO2 footprint. Notably, German company P1 Performance Fuels produces fossil-free e-fuel exclusively for the World Rally Championship, emphasizing the use of renewable energy in the production process. UK-based Coryton offers sustained synthetic fuel made primarily from agricultural waste, claiming a 65% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions compared to fossil fuels. Porsche and Siemens collaborate on the Haru Oni project in Chile, producing e-fuel with the goal of 55 million liters by 2024 and 550 million liters by 2026. 
The process involves creating green hydrogen from water, combining it with CO2 from the atmosphere to form methanol, and then converting it into usable fuel using the methanol to gasoline process. E-fuels and synthetic fuels are expected to play a crucial role in preserving interesting and vintage vehicles for decades or even centuries after traditional fuels become unavailable. However, it is uncertain how this exemption will work in practice, and the UK has not indicated plans to follow the EU's lead. In conclusion, Porsche's CEO Oliver Bloom's revelation of the EICE engine marks a new era of innovation and competition in the automotive industry. By combining advanced combustion technology with synthetic fuels, Porsche aims to challenge the dominance of electric vehicles in terms of performance efficiency and sustainability. The debate ignited by Porsche's commitment to the EICE engine underscores the complexity of the automotive landscape. Recognizing that different regions and consumers have varying needs and access to charging infrastructure, while electric vehicles excel in urban environments with well-developed charging networks, regions with limited access to reliable electricity sources may find synthetic fuels to be a more feasible option for emission reduction in the short term. Porsche's commitment to the EICE engine is not just about preserving the past, it's about evolving the combustion engine into a more sustainable and efficient form. Bloom's vision of a future where high-performance sports cars can coexist with environmental responsibility challenges the conventional narrative of combustion engines as the villains of the climate crisis. In essence, Oliver Bloom's revelation has set the stage for a new era of innovation, where advanced combustion technology and synthetic fuels provide a formidable alternative to the dominance of electric vehicles in the automotive landscape.